Hello, my Kangachus, and welcome back to Memory Lane Gaming. Hopefully, this episode we can finish Mount Moon. A magic harp? I honestly don't know if I should be afraid of this thing. <laughs> I'm still gonna vote no. Oh shit. Well... Could have been worse, I suppose. It still did a decent chunk of damage, but... Bugsy's a god! If you missed last episode, shame on you! Bugsy is a god! He saved my ass! Hey, that works! So I figured I'd... I'd attempt to give Bugsy a little bit of love here. Go ahead and use some Petal Dance probably stronger than smog. Indeed it is! Eevee? Nope. You're so cute, Eevee. Oh yeah, I forgot my pedal dance is still going. Ooh. Bugsy grew to level 13! Losing stinks! And so does your Pokemon. You ever bathe them? I mean, really, man. Do you? Well, I'm a big muscular man. Whoa, you shocked me! Are you just a kid? Clerk! Hotty! Works for me! So I'm the flobbler all over you! Hmm. Alright, that could pose a threat. I don't think it's nearly as big of a threat as... Oh god, I just... I just realized what I did! I said that Pikachon was my answer to water types? I didn't even think about that when I gave him Petal Dance. Now he can annihilate them! <laughs> uh, no, actually. I'm gonna thrash around just a little bit longer. As long as the... Doduo doesn't explode in my face like the Dorito did... We should be okay. Get him just a little bit more experience, since he's not really getting experience from this cave except for trainer battles. Because they seem to have a lot of water types. Ray 2! Critical for the finish. And Hadi, I believe. Did he just surpass the rest of my team? Nope. He's on par with Kitsuna. Alright. I mean, these Ultra Balls and the Master Ball that I picked up last episode are nice. Because I'm not going to have to be buying Pokeballs for a while. 
but I would much rather prefer healing items, actually. Don't you explode in my face. I missed. He flinched, and I missed. Come on, hottie. You could have taken that without g taking any damage. I still want to catch you. But I still can't. In fact... I th think that's one of the first Pokémon that we've seen in the wild in two different locations. sure where I'm going. Little kids should leave grown-ups alone! Well, you're... I walked in front of you and you attacked me. So... Not really my fault here. Yeah, sure. Not really sure what else to do. I would have liked to have switched to my Kangachu, but I don't want him to be taking damage if I can help it. Charmander. Because while I don't think the Pidgeotto would have been able to... I missed. Would have been able to kill my Kangachu right away. I know that he's still weak, and I may only be able to bring him out for one... For one battle. So... Hottie's getting kind of low. And I do have one more potion, but I'd rather that be an emergency potion. And I do have fresh water. Which I... Not sure. I think it heals like 80 or something. So it's a bit strong for what I need right now. Wow. We traveled pretty far. Without getting into an encounter. Goodbye, Golem! Oh. He survived. Um... Okay. <laughs> I bet you're still as big as a truck. Bell Sprout! You're fired. Spin your way out of here. There she is. First one to level 20. Hey, stop! I found these fossils. They're both mine. Because I'm a selfish prick. And I'm also a schoolgirl. Pidgey. Alright. Gonna do it for this one. Because a Pidgey isn't as terrifying as a Pidgeotto. And he's not doing anything anyway, so... Ooh, and it's a critical. Good job, Kangachu!
Nope. I'm... I'm putting stock in you, man. Make me proud. Whoa. Oh, never mind. Uh Shit. I don't want multiple people poisoned. I wasn't sure if the Meowth would be able to take out my Bugsy right away. Probably not. <gasps> no! I don't... Son of a bitch! I'm sorry, Bugsy. You're still a god. You... You sacrificed yourself... for the Kangachu. You just dove out in the way and you're like... Ugh! You dove on the Meowth Grenade for your team. And you did the same with Goldeen. But you, you managed to survive that. It has it makes no difference which one I take. No difference whatsoever, because when it gets revived, it will still most likely be random. That Meowth fucked me up. Stop right there! Jesse, James, that fossil was Team Rockets. Surrender now or prepare to fight. I didn't actually get an option there. Ranger? You're a funny looking Ranger. Alright. I don't actually remember what Focus Energy does in the first place, so... Oh. Really? Well, I'm gonna take a nap. Oops. I think it probably only affects uh, attack, like physical attacks. So it probably does nothing for Kitsuna unless I'm using like Pin Missile, which would do, would do nothing against the Pidioto. So Dragon Air. Hmm. Uh, yes. Could be bad. Okay. We should still be okay because Pikachu has decent defense. Even though I'm taking him down very 
Slowly. Well... I probably should have just headbutted him. I'm a deep sleeper, aren't I? Of course, I, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised, because Pikachu headbutts rocks for a pastime, so... When he sleeps, he probably sleeps like a rock. Alright, man. Oh, wait. He confused me, too. 400. Tentacool. Ugh. I want to use Kangachu, damn it. I could use Kitsuna. But I'm not going to. I know I'm confused, but I want this experience. I got kind of lucky there. What? Oh, he's poison. He's water and poison. How do I hurt myself? Oh god. No! You... Son of a bitch! You... Son of a bitch! Team Rocket blast off at the speed of light! Don't hit the ceiling on your way out, fuckers. I'm pissed. Could have sworn that there was something up here. What am I doing? I should be trying to get to a Poke Center. So I don't lose a third Pokemon in this episode. I don't know where the nearest Poke Center is. Hyperfang, well that's worthless. Sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, I will be putting Pikachon and Bugsy in the storage, but I just had to get Pikachu, or Kangachu, up to the healer first. I had no time to spare. Well, shit. I'm very sad. That Bill, I heard that he'll do whatever it takes to get rare Pokemon. Have you heard about Bill? Everyone calls him a Pokemaniac. I think people are just jealous of Bill. Though who wouldn't want to boast about their Pokemon? 
My Pokemon are dead. Bill has lots of Pokemon. He'll co he collects rare ones too. Uh, yeah. Okay. How much money do I have now? There's Misty's gym. There's the Pokemon. Electrode is loafing around. Eh, move Pikachu, you're fat and you're in the way. I have some money. Uh, I want... Three of those. I actually have some money now, so... Happy about that. I will pick up one of those. And... I can't even afford that. I'll just go with five. And I will save the rest of my money for now. Okay. What's this? Grass and caves handled easily. Bike shop. Oh yeah. Bike shop's worthless until I get the voucher, so... You're making an encyclopedia on Pokemon. That sounds amusing. It does, doesn't it? Pokemon badges are owned only by skilled trainers. I see you have at least one. Those badges have amazing secrets. Now then, which of the eight badges should I describe? The Cancel Badge. I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh. I'm a butthole, yo Chinooki. You're still struggling on back here? I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you caught, Tanuki. Well, considering a third of my team just died. Bulbasaur. And you're actually on par in level with me, so... This could be dangerous if you have a water type. Because I don't have much of an answer to that anymore. <laughs> and you got payday, so... Nope. Just gonna... Fire spin ya. He should still have his Scyther. But the rest of his team will be constantly changing. Another Bulbasaur. Hmm. I mean, obviously Kitsuna can take it out, but I was wondering if anybody else could get experience from this. Hottie could, but the other two probably can't really do anything to the Bulbasaur, and so it's kind of pointless to put him up against it. So I will just take it down. 21! Scyther. Um... Let's try it. Oh. His Bulbasaur was actually had a higher level than his Scyther, so... He continues being a pain in the ass with his flying-type moves. And critical hits! Jesus! Oh god. 
Oh, fuck that. <laughs> You're faster than me. Oh, his fourth attack was finally not a critical hit. That was... that was actually pretty dangerous. I have to keep that in mind the next time I fight. Butthole! Hey! Take it easy! You won already! I picked up? How did I pick up money? Oh, because he used Payday on me. I think. Hey, guess what? I went to Bill's and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's world famous as a Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system on PC. Since you're using his system, go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. Smell my butthole later. Um, I gotta check the map. Because I think that I can catch new Pokemon around here somewhere. And I'm running out of time in the episode. So I figure that's what I should try to do. City Route 24. 25. Sea Cottage. So I can theoretically catch two more Pokemon over here. I'm just gonna go over here and catch this Pokemon right now. For Route 4. I'm not gonna worry about 24 right now. We're also nearing the end of the episode anyway. Pikachu, you're scaring him off with your big booty. Kangachu, sorry. A primate. Alright. Um, wow, he's really low level. So we'll do it this way. <laughs> This should pretty much guarantee that I... that I can catch him. Wow, well, that actually did a decent chunk of damage, considering it's ineffective. be a pain in the ass, aren't you? I assume that if his substitute's up, I can't throw a Pokeball at him. I'm not sure on that, but I would assume that's the case. Oh god. So I'm just gonna break his substitute and try to catch him, because he's- I've only hit him once. Other than that, he's pretty much killed himself. Alright. I could use a Master Ball. 
Which would be 100% pointless, actually. Well, I kind of thought that maybe that wouldn't work. Just a regular Pokeball, but I had it, and I had these Ultra Balls, which will definitely catch him. What? Are you serious? What is with my luck in this episode? I had to use both of my Ultra Balls to catch him. I was not going to use my Master Ball on him. I don't care what you say. I will just sacrifice catching somebody. I'm not using the Master Ball on him. It stops being angry only when nobody else is around. To view this moment is very difficult. Unless your name is John Cena. Give a nickname to Primeape? Um... I don't know, I'm just kind of thinking. Not how it's actually spelled. But we'll go with Punch Nello. That is a reference to another RPG. Once again, I couldn't fit the full name. Which I believe is Punchinello. There's like a letter, one letter missing, I believe. An E or something. In between Punch and Nello. But if you recognize what that name is from, then congratulations! You have played an amazing RPG. If you haven't, then shame on you! Well, this has been an episode. What are you so happy about? Selfish prick. Thank you for joining me, and uh... I'm actually recording this on the exact same day as episode 5. So... Yeah, I don't know if the revive is going to be used in episode 5 or not. If it's not, then you can vote. If it is, then you'll have to wait until I beat Misty to cast another vote. We have quite a few choices to revive now, sadly. So, thank you for joining me, and tune in next week uh, when we attempt to take on Misty's Gem. <laughs>